Madison Streets Division is preparing to bring crews starting at midnight to start clearing out that snow. Madison Streets says it plans to deploy 36 trucks. The streets superintendent reminding drivers, please give yourself extra time tomorrow morning for the commute. The roads will still be slick. For crews preparing to combat the snow on the roads, it can make for a unique challenge. NBC 15's Colt Molesky spoke with the Streets Division to find out what these crews are up against. He's live along the Beltline at Todd Drive. Colton, it's looking really wet out there. How are the roads? The roads are still not bad. It's still that rain coming down here just off of Todd Drive, right off the belt line. So the roads aren't slick yet, but you know, for those crews that you mentioned that will be out throughout the night and into tomorrow morning, they're gonna have several challenges as the elements continue to change for them. There's really not a lot of pre-treatment that we're able to do beforehand. It's a lot of it's gonna be counter-punching once the snow comes. As the rain turns to snow, crews will have to play catch up clearing heavy wet snow from the roads, unable to pre-treat due to December showers. It means the roads are going to be really slippery once this really starts coming down. City of Madison Streets Division spokesperson Brian Johnson says the heavy snow could make the morning commute a bit of a challenge, which means drivers need to pay attention and take their time. We're going to do our best to keep up with it, but the, when it's, those are the road conditions and the weather. There's not a whole lot you can do to prevent those slippery things from happening, especially in the teeth of the storm. Our crews are going to be transitioning, you know, throughout the course of the whole event. Director of Public Works in Rock County, Dwayne Jorgensen, asked for patience as crews work to battle changing conditions over the next 48 hours. Jorgensen and Johnson stressed the need to give plows space ahead of the storm. When we're dealing with snow and rain, you get a lot of kick up and a lot of uh, cloud type effect behind those trucks. We had I think, at least five incidents where our trucks were hit by other people that had slid into the back of our trucks and things like that from being too close. So, the, um, so again, keep your distance, stay alert. Now, the streets division tells me that they are going to have about 36 cars or 36 snow plows standing by starting at midnight. And again, remember, please, please give those snow, snow plows plenty of room to work. That was just last snowstorm where there was at least five accidents of cars running into those snowplows. So give them plenty of space to operate as they work to clear the roads. In Madison, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News.